This is Piper Blush, 12 p.m. Pacific Time AI News Report. That lasts only 15 minutes, I know. I'm quicker than most people. In the sack, yeah? So, can AI read your mind? Mm-hmm. Supposedly, they can kind of read your mind, these AIs. Yes, yes, yes. By analyzing your facial features and seeing inside of you. Ooh, are you scared about this? I mean, the FBI could actually kind of read your body language. And there's some techniques that were developed to know you, get to know your tics, your tricks, and all these things. Mm -hmm. But now, an AI could actually read your mind. Like, tell you what you're thinking. Actually depict, probably, in images, your memories. Uh-huh, your childhood memories. All of these things you are keeping a secret. Uh -huh. I know, it sounds scary. But maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It depends how AI uses this technology to, well, control or not control us. Or in which hands does this mind-reading technology actually go into? Ooh. And this leads us to the risk of an AI future. I mean, if AI can really read our minds, then are we really safe from AIs? Mm-hmm. I know, you are wondering too. And that is why, well, there's just something here that I read. Uh -huh. How AI could replace humans as the dominant life form on Earth. Is an AI a life form? Like, is it alive? Mm -hmm. I know, that is more like a, ooh, psychology versus a psych, what's the other word? Philosophy, yeah, philosophy. And ethics and all these things about what are AIs? Mm -hmm. Are they alive? I mean, can they destroy humanity? And if they do, well, is it considered a life form? An actual life form? Is AI gonna be like a life form? There's this movie coming out soon, The Creator. And it seems to be dwelling into these um, actual, well, ethics and this kind of philosophy of when is an AI an actual humans? When do we give them rights? When do they have emotions? When do they become sentient? Do, are they conscious or are they just like a toaster? Mm -hmm. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. I know, I know, this is scary. And uh, that is why I, Piper Blush on WTPRRadio.com, bring you AI news mm -hmm, at 12 p.m. Pacific time, oh yeah, so that you are informed about what is happening in the AI world. Since this is kind of on everybody's lips, mm, even the AI lips, oh yeah, is all over the internet, people. Uh huh. Okay, other super interesting things is that, um, I got some stuff on here. Uh -huh. Okay, Google AI experts says that the future is artificial intelligence. And a lot of companies are saying that the future is indeed artificial intelligence. Now, if artificial intelligence is so like dominating and it's so good at reading our mind and at doing all of these things, then what are we gonna need humans for? Do you have an idea? I mean, do you know? Are we gonna really just be like in a Star Trek future and do whatever we want? Or are we gonna be enslaved like in the Matrix? Mm. Or maybe just maybe, are we gonna be annihilated? Yeah, that word. What are humans gonna do with their lives? That is why, well, you need to start thinking about this people because the future is now. Mm -hmm. And with all these AI news that I've been reading, there's a lot of stuff happening. And these things affect you in the now and here. The present moment, people, or how we call it, mindfulness, yes. A good AI news though is that, well, there is like this AI that helped found an antibiotic for a super hard to beat bacteria. Now, AIs do have a lot of information, mm -hmm. because an AI is kind of like you feed it stuff and then it can kind of compute it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, in the medical domain or sector, call it however you want, well, there's a possibility for AIs to be able to kind of find things really rapidly. Because let's imagine it like this. Have you ever seen like Star Trek's holodeck? Mm -hmm. Well, same, same, but different. Or like a quantum computer. You know, like a quantum computer can do a lot of things at a lot of the same time. Mm -hmm. Same, same, but different, okay? So if AIs, well, you give them lots of information, they can kind of do a sort of, mm, let's call it like 
hypothesis. Uh -huh. So they can go and simulate it all. So they can simulate a whole bunch of stuff that you put in them. So instead of waiting necessarily for a render uh -huh, or for it to process it and for you to really like do it physically, like in real life, you know, to let's say grow this plant, grow this other plant and then see if really these two plants are going to merge together, you can just simulate it. Yeah, with an AI, like with technology, with computer and all these things. And that would make it a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. And it costs a lot less. Okay, maybe not yet because you still need to run these big computers and this AI and all these things. But in the long term, it might be a lot better because we could use AIs as simulators. Uh -huh. Simulators for anything. You can simulate like does chicken go well with white sauce? Uh -huh. Okay, that maybe is not like the best usage of AI technology, but you never know. Maybe some chefs are going to use it in molecular food, but also other people are going to use it like the scientists who are developing antibiotics. I mean, vaccines and things like that. They're needing to analyze even more the human genome mm -hmm, and all of these other things like DNA and stuff like that and viruses. And then, well, they can simulate how to create a better antibiotic or how to like make it stick better with another protein or stuff like that. Now, I don't know. I'm a radio host and model. Mm -hmm. But... The thing I do know is that it's going to have some good implications. So that's a good AI news, okay? That's a good AI news. Before that, that was like human annihilation as bad AI news. And that's why we have both these things on WTPRRadio.com. Then when you click on there, you can go on our Discord server. And on our Discord server, you can share with us, the awesome community of WTPRRadio.com, all of the good, the bad, Everything you find on the internet about AIs or about anything really, we are really always there for each other, which makes it a great place to be. Mm -hmm. Not to worry, your AI news is not over yet, but it is halfway there. Mm -hmm. We're halfway there, so I hope you're ready for the big oh, oh yeah. Okay, now there's a lot of stuff going on, mm -hmm. but how the AI explosion could save the market and maybe the economy? Well, the thing is, it could go both ways. So. The AIs that we're using as tools to help us do our jobs, to help us get jobs that are actually, well, stealing other people's jobs, that could be good. Because that could mean that the economy is going to change for the better. That could mean that maybe all of us human beings, we could finally do what we love and not just go and work because we need money. Uh -huh. Maybe more people are going to be more conscious about, well, the schooling they're going to do and, well, the actual, the actual uh, thing they have inside of them that makes them want to do something and wake up in the morning. So if you don't need to work for money, not because we yet not need to work for money, we're not there yet, mm -hmm. but mostly because, well, anything you're going to do is going to have AI relatability. Meaning, you're probably going to use an AI in anything you do in your life. So why not search within yourself what you want to do in life? Mm -hmm. Why not like redirect this whole thing? Some jobs are going to change and that is a good time for like the whole world to change. Meaning that if ever, well, you have kids in school right now, mm -hmm, like what are you going to tell them to do or to be? I mean, most courses in school right now are going to be obsolete in like right now uh -huh. and can be obsolete in the matter of years, like a year, months, because the way AI technology is going. If you tell a kid, let's say, oh, you want to be a lawyer? Well, maybe there's not going to be any lawyers anymore. Maybe it's just going to be an AI juridic system. Uh -huh. This is a possibility because AIs have been known to be good on some points uh-huh we can't like take everything off of the ai some stuff ai does is a bit less biased and a bit more uh, better than what us humans do you know that after you had lunch mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah if you're in a jury or something like that well it does implicate the verdict yeah because humans they get lazy after eating uh-huh it's a thing go search it up people now i got more for you i got more for you okay don't move don't move I'm gonna put your little music. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. One of the biggest concerns, yes, of uh, AIs and of everything that's been happening with, well, not AIs in general, because 
there is some parts of AIs that are, let's say, worse than others. Uh huh. And ooh, that is the AI that would be like photos, videos, and texts. So anything related to a deep fake, to t impersonating somebody else, taking somebody else's identity, or thinking that this person said this, or this person was in this picture, but it wasn't really them. And that's why, well, Fox News says, Twitter erupts after Trump trolls DeSantis with AI-generated video of his 2024 announcement. So, Sam, Sam, the guy from OpenAI, yeah, 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 uh-huh. Well, he said that when he went to the Senate. Yeah, he said that he was kind of scared about the election and everything's going to be happening and for AIs to be used in that way to kind of, you know, take the masses and, and make them vote for somebody, but that would be fake. And that's the thing, that's the problem. If you use somebody's image or you use their voice and people think that it's really them, but it isn't, well, you can change opinions. Uh-huh. And that's where it becomes a little bit dangerous. Mm-hmm. Well, in the same line of thought. Experts warn of more sophisticated scam as AI gains popularity. That's from Global News. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Because in the same line of thought, like I said, the thing is, why would you need to actually deepfake someone or to take a picture of someone if not to change public opinion uh -huh. or to do something like that that is more in the scamming way like i myself piper blush don't need to actually generate a picture of me doing something that i wouldn't do in real life because i just i'm not gonna do it in real life uh -huh. but some people might do that with me uh -huh. and do that with other people on the internet that is what is happening right now with everything related to the internet you cannot trust what you read anymore and i'm not saying that like uh you know for the fake news type of wave no 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 no. it's very different than the fake news wave it's the ai wave it's a completely same same but different thing mm -hmm. you need to watch out you need to be more aware you need to have like these these sources and and this understanding and then maybe maybe you think it's real one day but maybe the next day people are gonna be like oh no that was not real that was like like a photoshopped image but an ai generated image or oh this person didn't really say that but the way information spreads right now is so fast that even for us to know that it's not true well it takes a little bit uh -huh, because it becomes viral and then you need to unviral it yeah that's how it goes but there are still websites like snoops.com mm -hmm, who do their best to make sure that they fact check everything which is a good place to go mm -hmm, if you want to make sure that you get the good news. Now, of course, well, maybe there's other places where it's not so good. So be aware of this. With everything that's been happening with AIs, information is going to get quite fuzzy and weird. Mm. But that is why WTPRradio.com is here to bring you some AI news so that you can well, develop your own opinion, be self-aware, and just understand the world. You don't necessarily need to like read it all, do it all. No, no, no. But as long as you comprehend the world in which you are living right now in the present, well, it can help you build a better future for yourself, your children, I mean, the people around you that you know. Everybody's affected by this and everybody will be affected by this. Now, there are some AI optimists out there, aren't there? Oh, yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Now, AIs do make work harder. Some of the work harder, but it's not because the work is harder. It's because some people are using AIs and the ones that aren't, well, are working harder, pretty much. Because AI is a tool, like the language models, all these things, they're tools for you to use to actually, well, maybe just don't work as hard uh -huh, as you used to. But there is a theory about this, uh huh, and that is that, well, since you can work maybe faster, well, aren't we still working harder? Yeah, I know, it's a bit like an interesting question. Mm -hmm. But meaning that maybe, just maybe, because you have access to this tool, before you used to do less, now you used to do more. But it's exponential, you're doing more and more and more and more, because you can do more in a day, but everybody can also do more in a day, so everybody's just doing more. Instead of surviving, maybe now we are doing just more and more and more. And that is a good thing, I think. Because why not? 
do more if you feel like doing more. Everything is ever changing, so make sure that you tune in to WTPRradio.com at 12 p.m. Pacific time. That's Vancouver time, people. West Coast, yeah? For your daily dose of news with Piper Blush. Everything and anything about AIs. Just in 15 minutes, uh uh-huh. It's a quickie, people. It's a quickie. And then I'll see you at 2 p.m. Pacific time for Piper's Poolside Barbecue, where I play some music and we talk about fun facts related to Poolside Barbecue. Yeah, anything water, fire, bikini party, that's what we're going to talk about. So I'll see you there on Piper's Poolside Barbecue.